For this demo on the Cucumber for .NET, I will be introducing a couple of open source projects on GUI test automation framework for Windows desktop applications. I will be using Specflow and White. And here is Specflow's GitHub page developed by Tech Talk. It is a behavior driven development solution for .NET, uses Gherkin language. And I'll be using Microsoft Visual Studio Community Edition 2013. And here is the white GitHub page developed by Test Stack. It is a framework for automating rich client application based on Microsoft technology, .NET based. Can be written in any .NET language. I'll be using C Sharp. It provides a consistent object-oriented API encapsulating the complexity of Microsoft UI automation library. By the way, if you're not going to automate the UI test, then you do not need the project white. Specflow is good enough for automating the test on subcutaneous or right under the skin of UI to speed things up or automating the unit test. And here is test X documentation on Project White. As you can see on this image, you have an application with a window with a various control objects. White sits on top of it, driving the keyboard and mouse actions, validating against the properties of, this, of these control objects. There are several ways of finding a UI item and performing an action on it. You can call the get method, specify the control type with the automation ID, or you can use search criteria and cast into the control type. However, if you don't know the names of the UI items, control type, and, and automation ID, then you may need to start using this Windows inspect program which comes with a Windows SDK. So let's start by launching our desktop application and I'm gonna find out the control type and automation ID of this off object by moving my mouse over to it. And the inspect program drills down and shows me the object hierarchy of this off object and it tells me that it is radio button control type and its automation ID is radio button underscore off one. This also displays all the other properties and their values. So let's start writing some spec flow test cases. First thing, we need to install the plugins for the spec flow. Spec flow and spec flow dot n unit white test stack dot white as you can see I have installed the end unit spec flow and white next we are going to create our first spec flow feature file by adding a new item you can name it the way you want it and it creates the default feature file in Gherkin language I'm going to build it to show you that the name of the scenario becomes the test case name and any tag you have given gives the categorization and because I have already created the feature file for the control tab I'm going to delete this and show you how to generate the step definitions for the feature file into the step definitions folder and tells me that I have already created the step definitions so right here so I'm just going to generate couple method for those two steps that I'm that I'm missing the step definitions for by just copying it and pasting it and save 
now it's happy please notice that I have a step commented out that looks very much similar to one below it the only difference is that I have used a quotation on the second one to parametrize it rather than hard coding the name of the radio button into the step and here I have already written the step definition for this and as you can see it's using the hard-coded radio button name and hard-coded automation ID to obtain the radio button call dual mode now I'm going to write a definition for this parametrized radio button click action I'm going to create generic radio button called R button and search by the parameter which is the name of the radio button and set its value to true to do a click action on it next I'm going to make sure that it has disabled the control too and I have already written the method for it I'm going to briefly go over this step definition the end unit framework provides the assert validation for the UI test and the unit test as well and the spec flow binds the feature file and the step definition file and it allows you to write the before test run method that launches the program, grabs the window after test run tear down method to close the window let's go over each steps given I have successfully loaded the application when I'm on the control tab then I'm expecting some behavior and do some assert validations next test case when I'm on the controls one's radio button when I click on it it should turn it on and when I toggle the soft stop checkbox then it should toggle and on and on okay let's save this and build it okay let's run the test Okay, 
we have the green light let's look at the output here is the output if you want a better looking output then you need to install a plugin called spec run that goes along with the spec flow you may also look into um, BD Defy framework uh, developed by test stack which is an alternative to the spec flow and here is their github page okay thank you all for watching